Hello, hey, this is Sean. We're gonna go over how to fill out a seller's disclosure statement. This is required whenever you put your house in the market and it's something that the seller has to do only. So there shouldn't be any other pen marks on this sheet except Mrs. or Mr. Seller, okay? The rule about um, disclosure is if you are wondering whether or not you should disclose something, you need to disclose it, okay? Uh, this is the number one reason people get sued in real estate is because uh, the seller either forgot about it or they just didn't want to put it on there because they thought it would affect the sale. Unfortunately, buyers have a way of finding uh, they, they have a way of finding out what happened. So maybe like a neighbor might come over and say, "Hey, Mr. Buyer, you just moved in. Did they, did they tell you about that flood they had two years ago?" And then the can of worms comes up. Okay, so anyway, that's kind of the general rule. Now, filling this thing out, it's pretty self-explanatory, but there's a couple tricky spots. Uh, general information, you know, when did you require it? The type of title. So normally these days, the, the binder of the house or the abstract is registered with the city. So typically, if you do not have it in physical, uh, in your physical possession, it will be registered at the city, okay? And then did you do uh, title insurance when you bought the house? This is a one-time fee that you would have paid at closing. Um, a lot of people do buy this. It's usually around, I don't know, four to six hundred bucks. You pay it at closing. So if you don't remember, um, you can put unknown. And uh, just answer the questions: Is it suitable for year-round use? And not. It's most homes are not manufactured. That would be like a um, like a prefabricated home, or one like that. Here, just keep answering uh, straight up questions. Uh, flood zone, you would know if you had floods, uh, if it was in a flood zone because you would have to have flood insurance. That would be on your policy. And then answer questions about did you have any uh, flood claims or flooding. Encroachments. Encroachments is uh, maybe there is a neighbor's fence that is really technically on your property line. And so that could be an issue that maybe needs to be addressed. So um, if there's any uh, special covenants, rules, um, maybe there's like a, maybe your air, your house is in like a, um, an, a, a historical area where there's might be some people may not be able to build a shed or something like that. Um, government requirements, you would know, hopefully, um, you know, if you're on like a, like I said, again, if you're on a, a wetland and the, you can, you can not touch it or something like that, there's tons of scenarios that it could be easements. An easement is uh, a, like basically a way to get in the property. So usually it's a driveway and sometimes those are uh, shared or if there's a, a drainage, big drainage pipe, that could be an easement as well. Um, so yeah, easements other than drainage. So if you guys are sharing a driveway, that's something you're gonna have to disclose, okay? General condition, this is uh, pretty straightforward. Just go ahead and answer the questions. Always give us a call if you have questions. And then has the structure been altered? So they're talking about you know, roof lines, um, adding walls, moving major items in the house, not small renovations. Any work? So just list off work that you've done in the house. And then they want to know if the permits were pulled. Uh, they can always check at the city whether or not those permits were pulled or not. So just so you know. And if, tell people if you've had pets. If tell people about the foundation, and then here if there's if you know about any cracks, floodings, foundation problems, or if you've fixed those, just list them here. And then give any information you know about the roof, and go fill that out there. Exterior and interior walls and uh, and uh, sliding windows. Um, I guess this is just pretty straightforward. Okay. Now this is one that people do get confused on. So here's how it works. Check NA for only those items that are not physically located on the property. So for example, if you have an air conditioning, but it's not working, you check no. You're not, let's say, you know, you're not going to fix it. It's not working. Check no. If it is working, check yes. And if the air conditioning is just not there, then you do NA. So that's how you do that. Uh, some of these are pretty odd, you know, like they have incinerator. I mean, who has an incinerator, right? Okay, almost down to the end here. Uh, they're talking about sewage treatment. So if you have a septic system or a well, we have to disclose that. Preferential property treatment. So let's say, um, like I knew this one lady who had, her house was by the airport 
and she had a discount on the property taxes because of that. And that was um, that was there, preferential tax treatments and stuff. So that's pretty much it. Uh, this is this is if they have a, you know this is a foreign investment type deal. I don't know anyone who's ever done that. And they ask about meth, talk about uh, carbon monoxide, cemetery acts, and then here they're talking about you know any kind of uh, environmental concerns. You know if you had a a raccoon that you know died in your attic or something crazy, you know, just put it in there and list it because, again, if they find out about it, they you don't you want to be ahead of the game. Okay, so here we go. Um, pretty straightforward radon testing. If you had it done, um, you know, if you have any reports of that too, just let us know. And radon tests have or have not been done, and there is or there is not a radon system in the house. Material facts. So they're talking about, has the seller been notified of any um, assessments from the city? So if they're putting in a new road and they're gonna have a huge you know, assessment attached to your property, we need to know about that, okay? Other material facts. And this is a kind of a real open question here. Is there any material facts that could affect the use of the home? Very broad term, so if, um, if there's something you know about that is just makes it difficult to live there or makes it unpleasant, you might want to explain what that is. So it could be, who knows, if you live next to a, like a recycling plant and it's just the smell is always there or something, that, that could be one of those, those reasons. So you might have to disclose something. All right, this should do it. Uh, you have to sign this off and then get it back to me or, or email us. So thank you much.